lesson, I'm going to try to show you how to represent negative numbers. First, you have to understand that a negative number is one which, when you add to its positive number, gives you zero. So we shall use this idea to discover what negative numbers are on the board. What we do is very similar to what you do in digital circuits, meaning we use two's complement in digital circuit. Here we use tens complement, and you'll see the difference as we go. So it starts with ensuring that you have nine in each of the top row, okay? And likewise, here. So if you want to discover what the negative number for one is, you start like this. And you try to take the difference between the two digits rows, digit by digit. So the nine and the one, you know the difference will make an eight. And so you want to have eight as your result, okay? And the nine and the zero, the difference is nine. And so you want to have nine here. And so you can imagine that it's all nines this way. What we have done is equivalent of complement, where you flip each of the bits. Zero becomes one, one becomes zero. This is the equivalent of it. But it's not the end. If you want to get a negative number, then you have to add one to it. So when you add one, you will get, of course, you make a copy of the one, and then you happen to have eight here. So if you bring the eight out, you end up with a nine. And if you take a copy of the zero and the nine, you end up bringing back the nine. So you have nine, 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 nine as minus one. In case you are in doubt, we can actually check. And to check is to set up the board to do 1 plus whatever we are claiming to be minus 9. And you'll notice very quickly that if you were to add 1 to this, okay, you take a copy, then you bring all the 9s, you end up with a 0 and leave one back behind like this. And then if you make a copy and you bring all the 9s, you will end up with a zero back and a leave a one. And since these are all nines, you end up with zero, which means that nine, 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 nine is really the negative of one. That is why we got zero as the answer. We could also try a slightly larger number. And let's say in this case, we are interested in a negative four, for example. So you set up your board with a four here and then nine 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 okay so we have this nicely set should be nine and we've set up the next one and that also should have nine and for now imagine that the rest of them are all nines Remember, we said we'll do two steps. One is to do a difference, and the second is to add a one. So if you do the difference between the nine and the four, it's five you get. So we can put five here and collect all these stones. The difference between nine and the zero is nine. So we know that nine should be in the answer here. And nine, and, and so this should be all nine, 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 nine. Okay, five. But we said we're not done until we do the second step of adding one. So to do the adding one, we set the board up with our candidate complement and the one to be added to it. Now this is five, so if you do copy and you collect this here, you end up with a six here, okay? And when you do the zero and this, you end up with nine. So you have okay, nine, 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 six is what we are guessing is the answer for minus 4. In case you want to verify, then it means if we add this minus 4, we are claiming the second row to the normal 4, we should end up with a 0. So let's test it. 
So notice that when you add 4 and the 6, you will get up 10. So there will be a 0 to come back. But let's do it. If you take up your 4 stones and you collect all these, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I bring a 0 here and I leave 1 stone here. And then the same way, if I were to take 0 and collect all these stones, I'll end up with 10 and I'll leave 1 stone and a 0 here. And the same will apply to this 9, this and all the way down. Okay? So it will end up being 0. So we may try a slightly different and larger number. Let's try and we want to do it for a number like maybe 30, 32. So remember, it's 32. And we will have up here the nines. Of course, we'll check to make sure they are all nines. So this one is uh, 8, 9, yeah? 5 and a 4. And the second one is uh, looking like 4 and a 4. So that's a 9. Okay, now we're happy we have 9. So, first we have to do the difference. And the difference between a 9 and this is 7. So, I remove the 2 from here and these stones to storage. And then I should have the difference here. Okay? The difference between the 9, okay, and a 3 is a 6. So, I make my 6. Okay? And for sake of discussion, imagine that there are nines here okay. so in essence if you take the nine difference you have a nine here okay and on and on and on so that's just the complement of 32 if you want to find its real negative you have to add a one to it okay and when you add a 1, you, you know the procedure. You collect all these stones here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. And it, everything remains the same. So now we are saying that minus 32 is 9999. Nine, nine, nine. Okay. And you can see 6 and 8 here. That's minus 32. We want to check, so we'll do the addition and see if we do get 0, minus 32. So in this case, you take a copy of the 2, and you know there are 8 here, okay? So if you add the 8 to this, it becomes 10, and you can see it has 10, okay? And so I'll bring a 0 here and leave 1 stone. So the procedure says we're working on the second digit. So I take a copy of 3. It makes 4. Then I add 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 0. I leave one stone here. I bring 0. And it's a 9. It will make a 10. I'll get 0. And I leave one stone here. And the rest of them are 9. So you get the same thing. So that was the answer for negative 32. So that is this lecture showing you how to represent negative numbers on the worry board. At the subsequent lectures, I will show you how to use the negative numbers in a variety of operations, including subtraction. Mm -hmm.